Sucks. Well, quiet out there right now. Looking at clear skies too this after day where there was quite a bit more cloud cover than we've seen the last several days. That cloud cover was, was moving into the Ozarks made for a really beautiful start to our Thursday. Those cotton candy skies and a little bit of ground fog too. This is in Kabul, Missouri. This uh, is what it looks like now as the clouds are exiting the area and we are finding clear conditions. I do think though closer to morning though, we're going to probably find a surge of low level moisture and with it some cloud cover and uh, at the very least I think we're looking at partly sunny conditions throughout the day on Friday, especially along and south of the interstate. And there is going to be a chance for a little bit of wet weather. We've got an upper level storm located in western Oklahoma right now. Well, it is going to make a trip across our area tomorrow afternoon. And it looks like as it encounters that low level moisture that will be moving in by morning, that should set the stage as we get into the afternoon for a few pop up showers, isolated to widely scattered showers. It's going to be mainly east of Highway 65 and south of I-44. Won't amount to much in a lot of spots. Most spots, in fact, where we even have that chance for showers, won't see any wet weather, but it's a chance. Looking ahead to Saturday, the remnants of Delta begin to make their pass past our area. Uh, it looks like by the end of the day on Saturday, we'll find that storm centered over Mississippi, and it looks like there will probably be some shower activity that will get into at least north central Arkansas and south central Missouri. So this is areas like Mountain Home, maybe up to West Plains, over towards, say, Birch Tree and south across Alton. That looks to be the favored spot for a chance for showers later Saturday, possibly into Saturday evening, as the remnants of Delta continue to track northeast up toward Tennessee. I'll have more on that storm here in a second. Here's a look at the uh, overnight lows for tonight. Should dip into the upper 50s. Temperatures tomorrow a lot like today. Where it's going to be sunnier, it will be warmer. Here in Springfield, about 81 for the high. Looks like upper 70s, more common to the southeast. Lows tomorrow night. Pretty comfortable in the low 60s, and then we'll find afternoon highs on Saturday, very much like what we're going to find tomorrow or what we found today. It looks like warmer readings to the northwest, cooler readings to the southeast here in Springfield, about 82 for that afternoon high. Here's Hurricane Delta. Delta has gotten reorganized, and for the first time in its life, the eye is very apparent on satellite imagery. And as you see that eye develop, you expect, well, maybe the storm is intensifying. And that's what it's been doing throughout the day. We've been watching those pressures drop. They're now down to 955 millibars. And winds have responded by increasing in intensity, now up to 120 miles per hour. And the storm looks like it's starting to make that turn to more of a northerly direction and it will begin approaching the Louisiana coastline throughout the day on Friday. I think it peaks in intensity overnight tonight into Thursday morning, and then there will be a slow weakening before it makes landfall late in the afternoon or early in the evening on Friday along the Louisiana coast. Looks like it'll probably make landfall south of Lafayette. From there, it makes its way across Louisiana into Mississippi on Saturday, and then from there, it makes its way into Tennessee as we push into Sunday. Our weather looking ahead to early next week. Well, we're in for some changes after what has been a very warm pattern. We're going to have a cold front sweep across the area on Monday, and it now looks like that front will move through fast enough so that we're not going to have a chance for rain with it, and we are going to find milder temperatures on Monday than earlier forecast. That cold front exits off to the east. We see things try to warm up a little bit as we get into Wednesday, and then it looks like Wednesday into Thursday. The timing a little fuzzy right now, but Wednesday into Thursday, another cold front makes its way southeast across the area. It doesn't look like rain chances are going to be good with that one either, but we will find another shot of cool air coming in. And the overall pattern favors temperatures trending even cooler through Friday and into this upcoming weekend. Here is our seven day forecast again. Highs in the low 80s the next couple of days, maybe low to mid 80s on Sunday. I do expect Sunday to be a sunnier day. Early clouds with that front on Monday with highs in the upper 70s, mid 70s on Tuesday. Could be back up near 80 on Wednesday, and then things are a little bit more mild on Thursday. And like I said, I think temperatures could be even cooler. We may be looking at highs back in the 60s as we wrap up next week and go into the weekend. And you know what? That's good news for us who like fall weather, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it'd be nice to get a little rain shower. In it there would too, be nice. Uh, if you live in just about all of our area, though, those chances are slim to none over yeah. the next seven days. Here, you narrowed it down, all of the area. Right. <laughs> all right, thanks, Jamie. Yeah. So to come for you tonight, it sounds like the plot to a movie, but it was very real and very scary for a Michigan governor.